Okay, so I'm in Sketchbook Pro, and I'm going to just change that back to white here, and I'm going to go Command Z. So um, what I want to do is select white over here. Okay, over here, there you go. This is my color tool, so I can click around like this and change it, darken it, and, and so on. If you don't see this over here, you just go under Windows, Open. I recommend Color Editor and Layer Editor, and that's what you see over here, my layers and my color. And I just... I don't know, I like this, but I find sometimes it's just easier if I want pure white to just click over here, leave that up to you. Now I want eight and a half by 11. So um, how did I get there? You may notice that when you look at yours, that you see this, okay? So what I like to do is open that puck and just make it so I can see everything and I can kind of see everything there. So the first thing I want to do is uh, draw a nice square so we're gonna go like I want to do is get this canvas the right size okay I'm gonna to go to image and I'm gonna to go to sorry um, maybe I should mention this as well your stylus responsiveness I always recommend around here so do that if you haven't done so already uh, works best with our tablets and you can play around with it. I'm going to go image size and see I see here that it's 12. I don't I want 11 11 and I'm going to turn off key proportions by 8.5 which is a perfect size sheet. I click OK and then I'll use the puck tool just to have a quick look here to make sure it's uh, the proper size Okay, and I may want to already rotate this. I'm going to go uh, rotate image so that it's like this. That's a little bit of setting up that you don't normally have to do with uh, Photoshop. And I, I will move around like this here. So I got the sheet the way I want it. Now, the space bar makes this appear too. So that's a hotkey that you can. So I want to show you three ways to draw squares. So the obvious first way is trying to draw it just freehand and one trick you want to do is draw a line and let go take your thing off the uh, mouse uh, the uh, pad and draw another line yeah it's really bad and that's fine I'm going really quickly take your thing off the pad and then there's your first square okay so I'm going to show you a couple other tools obviously that's not so good so I'm not going to go with that one command Z uh, on this tool here there is the square tool that's probably the one I recommend the most because it's easy and it'll select the color and it'll probably select whatever size you have over here. So if I draw another one with a very thick, let's see what happens here. Okay. So I'm going to go and close this. Go command Z and I'll click over here and see. So it takes the size of that pen. Okay. So actually I was using this tool. You see, it'll be very thick. All right, so you decide on that by clicking over here. I'm going to go to roughly two or three. I'll be happy with that. So I'll just close that. And I'll show you another way. So there's a couple ways that you may want to experiment with. And right now it's just getting your canvas set up for working. So click, click. And then you go click. And then click. And then double click whenever you get to the, the end. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Now there's also the ruler tool that could be useful. So you have to place it where you want. And then you move it like this. And let's pretend I want the normal size square like I had the last one. I'm going to go like that and like that. So I'm going to just draw right on the line. Then I'm going to move it up here draw right on the line and that's hopefully close enough but as you can see I've missed a little bit and then I'm going to move this like that and I adjust draw right on the line so you know experiment with these three techniques just because these are different tools that you could use and I, I know that square won't be perfect here and you know the one I think you should try and work on the most is the freehand one so what happens in this video is you want to create different curves. You want to, give me a second here. I'm going to just mention this, but you may want this to be bigger uh, cute, uh, squares or rectangles. 
the goal here is that you're going to do two a couple things so here you're going to do lines here you're going to do c curves and here you're going to do s curves and then you're going to color them in so you may want to use a combination of the ruler um, you may want to even try this tool out you know for the lines but really I want you to practice drawing lines. It's obvious it's going to create perfect lines. That's kind of what it's meant for. And try to keep it inside, you know, the tool. And I'm going to go Command Z. I'm going to try and draw these freehand. Oops, Command Z. I need to turn that tool off. Then I need to hit the brush and then try to draw a perfect line. So you're trying to build up your muscle memory here. And it's okay. I would say just try and draw these freehand like I showed you. You're not being marked on how many how perfect your lines are, but you see I'm already getting a little steadier. Now you can always command Z as your friend and the eraser tool. I'm going to go in here and just erase the little mistakes that I did. And then when you're done, I'm going to say just drop some nice colors in there using the paint bucket tool. Um, click OK. I don't need that here. That's annoying. So click that and I'm going to go paint bucket and just color. See what happened here is you need to zoom in using the puck tool. So this here and go see, I missed something here. Oh, so I'll just go back to my brush here and I will fix this. Whoops, go back to default black, which is good enough here. Okay, so you need to fix that so that you can use the paint bucket tool, but you already know that. We've been doing this for, for a while now, a lot of you. So, you know, then color it. And I would like to see twice as many lines as what I just did here, okay? And I'm gonna go get the zoom tool here just to do the next one so you can see what I'm talking about. And I wanna see C curve. So what is a C curve? Well, it's basically C's, you know, this is a C. So you go back and again, so do it however you want. I probably use a black line, but try to do it in one swoop and Command Z is your friend. You're developing your muscle memory here. It's not about having a perfect painting at the end is obviously cool but it's about working on your muscle memory you may want to start this over three times so because see I'm already like my hands warmed up which is another thing we talked about yesterday warming up your hand if you don't do that it's a bad move and you may not be able to color all these in if you miss a little gadget go get your eraser tool get into the habit zoom in with your puck go clean it out you know, eraser tool, you can also choose the size over here. And I have obviously the hard eraser on. And you're doing all this with your stylus. Okay. And again, when you're done, go get the paint bucket tool. Just color a little bit in here and, uh, you know, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. So then we're going to go and I'm going to, I press the space bar and I'm just going to move it like that. So it's like Photoshop, except it brings up this tool, which is a little bit better. And now you're going to, instead of C's, you're doing S curves. So let's go here. And so try to, you know, like this one, maybe another one like this. It's got to be S's. That was a terrible S. But you get the idea. Command Z, um, S, S. And then close them off. Okay. And then color it. And then when you're done, file, save as JPEG. Any questions, please let me know. Thanks.